were they a rock band like guitar, bass, drums, yeah. or were they in the style that you are? Quite a quite a normal, typical kind of rock band, but uh, we just used normal rap instruments. We didn't play. Right. more free form of uh -huh. Johannes, you are the latest member of the, right. the lineup, aren't you? Yeah. How long ago did you join? Oh, I think uh, it's two years ago. Two years? Yeah, we met. It's back that far. And how did you come to meet the boys? Uh, I met Edgar in a, German, uh, in a Berlin <coughs> record studio, mm -hmm. and he asked me uh, to join the group because he looked for, uh, for the third player. Uh, and uh, so we had a lot of sessions, so we get together in this way. You decided to stay? Yes. Chris, were you originally in the first lineup of Tangent? I was um, in the group since uh, 71, and uh, we started the new style of electronic music. Yeah, from that time. Right. When you first started that, with all the people that are in the charts now, the, the um, um, do you have done names, uh, the electronic rock people anyhow that are around, and I suppose you can even, no, I won't, but anyhow, those people that are in the charts, did you think that that would come about like that? You started this electronic rock early, yeah, yeah. and did you think that that would happen like that? Did you feel that uh, it would become so popular? I mean, when we started to work with electronic instruments in 71, 72, no one really did know anything about using electronic style, in, right? in, in, in popular music. Right. So we really started doing it in Germany, and we had no idea that within, what, 10 years? It will become such a popular so part of, of popular music. So one we are personally very happy about that. So one of the names that I was trying to get there was Gary Newman. Like they're, yeah, he they're experimenting, a bit later aren't than we... they? Yes, a lot later. <laughs> and do you think that they're doing it well? People like that that are on the charts now. I mean, as far as it's uh, as the, as the um, handling of the instruments concerns, um, they are a bit bad, I would say, to be honest. Right. I mean, they, they, so they should train a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> But it's 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 quite nice the way they mix mm. the well-known rock music with the electronics and the effects they do add, and uh, it's quite interesting to watch it. Where did the name Tangerine Dream come from? Oh, it's a very very simple story. We heard uh, one of the Beatles songs years and years ago, and uh, which is called "Losing the Sky." Right. right, and there was a very small line which is called uh, Tangerine Trees. Uh, something nice and we picked fun. tangerine up and added dream and so that's where the name comes from there was a story chris i that you would have been with the group i think you played a cathedral somewhere and uh, apparently so many people turned up it upset the catholic uh, religion and the pope even made a statement that you couldn't play in cathedrals anymore or something can you tell us that full story yeah the story was uh, that we liked to do a whole tour in cathedrals uh, to use different atmosphere and and right. use acoustics and the mood and things. Yeah. And uh, one day in a very big cathedral in France, that uh, 6,000 people in a, in a cathedral where maybe 2,000 seats were in, and um, the uh, rigid, uh, religious people got very upset in the end. But uh, it was a very interesting concert, and we got a lot of publicity about it. Was that the only cathedral you played in? Because I believe the Pope said never to play in cathedrals. We played in other cathedrals in England and oh, you did? Germany, yeah. yes. Because yeah. <clears throat> Sky, you know, the English group Sky, they did a couple of very big cathedrals, mm -hmm. uh, one in London, mm -hmm. and, and they said it was just enormous, the sound that you can get it's, in It's there. enormous because, because uh, you know, we do believe in some sort of higher consciousness. Yeah. That's why we, why we do things like that. Right. Yeah, and, and so... Uh, the funny thing, may I should add that we do a few unusual things in, in Australia as well, and we, we try to do it permanently right. because we try to move to Australia. Yeah? And yeah, yeah, and build a studio here and live here. When would you like to do that? Um, as soon as possible, but your government unfortunately did forbid it. Oh, they did really? not allow it, so we Let, can't do it. <laughs> let's chat more about that and the other things. Yeah. There's a, a film clip here that was done at a concert, I believe, in December of last year. Cool. We'll, we'll have a look at the song first, then we'll talk about that as well, because we're not too sure exactly where it was shot. You can fill us in, all right? All right, we'll Tangerine do. Dream, in concert here.
Uh, Johannes, can yes. you tell us where that was uh, uh, recorded? It was recorded in Munich. In Munich? Yeah. And was it a festival? No, it was not a festival. It was a TV show. Ah. Yeah. And so that song, it was called? Uh, uh, Kiev, Kiev Mission. Kiev Mission, yeah. <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> Kiev Mission. Which means? Uh, it, Kiev is a, a city in, in, in Russia. Oh, so it's a Russian mission, a Russian city mission. Yes. Normal. Yeah. Sort of. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Chris, you, you went east of the wall in Berlin and played a concert there. It was the first Western, West of the Wall band to do so, That's correct? That's true, yes. Mm -hmm. What was that like? How many people turned up? What were the ticket sales like? Those sort of things. I think you can uh, have so many people as every hall holds. Yeah. We got about uh, 8,000 people there and people are really waiting for Western products and to know our music and to get uh, records on the black market. Right. And they're really waiting and we try to open a bit um, the relationship between the two countries, which hasn't happened before yet. How hard was it for you as a West of the World band to, and citizens, to get that permission to go? Uh, one thing should show you how hard it really is. It took us over about one and a half years to get all the permits together to do so. And uh, they were doing our lifestyle which way we act how honest so if you see we are not communists right but on the other hand we we think our, our entire world has just one chance mm -hmm. to understand each other if we try to crash down every sort of border mm -hmm. i mean mainly the mantle borders yeah you know yeah and uh, that's what we are into all over the world wherever we go to we try to explain that there is some sort of higher stronger consciousness right. than just sitting there and playing little wars you know so let's not talk about war let's the, the music can bring us all together that's what we believe in you know? and you have had problems and looks like you won't be able to move to australia can you quickly fill us in on what has happened there and unfortunately yeah we try to to fill out all these immigration forms and right. have what we want to do and we want to open a studio we want to educate maybe younger people over here yeah. try to to bring them together for a new form of music and nothing to do with political things it's just, just, just music come and play right? as i said no so unfortunately and we do respect that you see we mm -hmm. just guess in your country yeah so, but we are a bit disappointed in our keep trying <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe one day we'll have tangerine maybe dream one day. here with a recording okay studio. it would be nice it would be lovely yeah. we've got uh, film scores to talk about and a whole lot of other things yeah. but we are running out of time if I could, thank you very much for coming in, Johannes, Chris, and yourself. Thank you. And thank have you. a good stay. The instruments get uh, we hope so affected too. like last time. <laughs> yes. And I hope you don't have to fly on little planes between yeah. places no, because no. of airstrikes. Okay. God bless.